The idea for this video was born out of my frustration for never knowing whether to use à ce moment-là or en ce temps-là to mean at the time in the past in French. So what I've done is I've finally gone and researched and made sure I'm confident in which one to use when, as well as two or three other key time phrases in French. And I want to pass on this knowledge for you guys so that you'll never get confused again. Allez, c'est parti. So apart from enjoying giving you guys the knowledge from my experience of the French language and living in France every week here on YouTube and Instagram, I do love um, being able to Uh, skill up on parts of the French language in order to prepare for a video and this week is one of those times. There's been so many uh, cases in French when I've been mid-sentence and I want to say at the time, at the time and I know there's two common phrases à ce moment-là, à ce moment-là and en ce temps-là, en ce temps-là but I never had the confidence to know when one transitions to the next one or when is appropriate to use one and when to use the other. Of course, what makes this harder is that there are often exceptions and there's often that sort of um, blurry period between something that was six months ago and maybe five years ago. And so I was never sure. So right now I'm going to give you, I think, five. Let me just check. Yes, five phrases to use in French related to time and when to use them in as clear a language as possible. All right, so before we get into à ce moment-là and en ce temps-là, I want to talk about something to use in the present. My first point and first French phrase about time is en ce moment. En ce moment, and this can be a synonym for actuellement actuellement, to talk about things happening now, at the moment, en ce moment, and actuellement means currently. For those of you who don't know, this is a false friend, a common faux ami, which doesn't mean actually, it means uh, currently, at the current time. So en ce moment, or actuellement, to talk about things that are happening right now in your general present time in your life, whether it be right this instant, or uh, like just in your recent uh, recent past and present in your life, something that's ongoing. En ce moment or actuellement. En ce moment, j'habite à Montpellier. Actuellement, je suis en train de parler français. Ensuite, right, here we go. À ce moment-là. À ce moment-là. Now, a while ago, now, a couple years ago, three years ago, I don't know, um, I was learning how to say at the time and I learned that à ce moment-là was used to say at the time when we're talking about something in the past, a moment in the past, but it was more recent than far away past. And for those far away past, you use en ce temps-là. But we're going to talk about that one next on the list. So, à ce moment-là, à ce moment-là is definitely for more recent things. Let's think back to, I don't know, up to uh, a few months ago, all the way forward to um, last week, probably. This is all kind of fluid, but it's recent past up to very recent past. So at that moment, at that specific moment is a good way to think about it, as far as I understand. And again, if there are any native speakers here, please do come down and clarify in the comments below. But I'm pretty sure that it, it's helpful to think of this as a specific point in time in the past. À ce moment-là, j'avais peur. À ce moment-là, J'avais peur. Maybe you're talking about going to the hospital for a test and you were afraid. À ce moment-là, j'avais peur. Numéro 3 is en ce temps-là. So coming from the more recent past, we say à ce moment-là to talk about a specific time, but also just generally that, that short period of time, if you want to use a period of time, recently, à ce moment-là is perfect. Now, for something that is... Um, Further away in the past, further away in the past, let's let's say uh, a few years ago or in your childhood and you're talking about the general period of time because often we don't necessarily want to talk about specific instances like a specific action or a specific uh, point of the day because we can't think about it like that. It's too far back in the distance. So in these times, we talk about generally that general period, that time in your life. And in, this is how I've made sense of using en ce temps-là. En ce temps-là. So à ce moment-là, with an à, 
and en ce temps là en ce temps là for at the time at the time can mean both right so that's why it's confusing for an english speaker like me like you but it means if you're going to take one thing away from this video it's that as ce moment là is for more recent things perhaps a more specific time in a recent past and en ce temps là is for a more uh, it's perhaps for a longer period in the past at a particular point in time in your in your life or in the story that you're telling but that's longer ago than à ce moment là i hope that's clear because that's how i've managed to make it clear for me it's very much easier when you can separate them in a this means that and that means that but it isn't always the case now something which i think can be a, a almost a synonym if not a synonym of um uh, en ce temps là for things further back in the past is à l'époque à l'époque à l'époque so the english word is epoch right but we don't really use it it's quite formal but the french it, it's more common so if you're talking about something way back in the past you know a previous version of yourself or previous version of the person you're talking about you know you can say à l'époque à l'époque je n'avais pas confiance um à l'époque je ne parlais pas français À l'époque, je ne parlais pas français. And I think this is a great way to trigger the imparfait tense because you're talking about something that uh, was a habit, that something that was uh, a description or something that uh, happened regularly. So, je ne parlais pas français. Or, uh, à l'époque, je jouais au tennis uh, tous les week-ends. Oh là là, je me suis trompé and I said jouer instead of jouer, which is a verb that is either always rude or can definitely be used in a uh, sexual way so uh, don't go and accidentally say jouer instead of jouer anyway back to the video at the time at that time in the past i played tennis every weekend à l'époque and i believe this is also a synonym for à cette époque à cette époque at that time at this time the time that you previously mentioned in the conversation à cette époque same as à l'époque i believe and finally on the list is something that came up last week when I was at the physiotherapist or chez le kiné and kiné is short for uh, le ou la kiné, kinésithérapeute, uh, the, the physiotherapist. I was there and I wanted to say um, this time last year, this time last year. And I started speaking the sentence and of course it was quite close to the beginning of the sentence and I was like, how do you say that? So I went with something like uh, à ce moment-là ou en ce temps-là and I think that triggered the research for, for this video to be honest because I just, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. La, la goutte d'eau qui a fait déborder uh, la vase ou qui a débordé la vase. And uh, I just needed to go and look this up right away. So you can go with simply il y a un an, il y a un an, a year ago, right? But that doesn't automatically come to us as English speakers when we want to say this time last year we want to translate it word for word so I think the best one and the thing that Traverso came up with and uh, I like to use Traverso because it gives me an inform I can make an informed decision because if I type in um, this time last year and about eight of those ten results were à la même période l'an dernier à la même période l'an dernier so it's a bit of a mouthful but it's the same length really as English at this time last year, à la même période l'an dernier. Okay, so to recap on this list, we've seen en ce moment, actuellement, to talk about what's going on presently in your life or right now. Then you've got à ce moment là for things that have for, for a period of time or a specific moment in time in the more recent past. And it's up to you to gauge what recent equals, how far that goes back. Then for further back, like probably quite far back, you have en ce temps-là, en ce temps-là, right? And what can perhaps be a synonym of this or pretty close to it is à l'époque, à l'époque, and à cette époque. And then to finish off, we saw uh, an example of something I needed in my, in my very recent past, uh, last week or so. It was this time last year, à la même période, l'an dernier à la même période l'an dernier so a bit of a shorter video than usual but i wanted to give you a quick rundown 
of something that plagued me for the last couple of years and I just wanted to stop being blocked about it and just be able to be confident in uh, which time phrases to use to refer to a specific point in time. Because I felt like if I would use at ce moment là, when to refer to something that was a few years ago, it might confuse the French person. So I wanted to be clearer on that. So I took the time to look into it, to answer it once and for all, and to come on here and make a video for you guys motivated me even further. So if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, si elle vous a plu, please do leave a thumbs up down below. It really helps me get my content out there to more people like yourself and make YouTube take notice. And please do subscribe to the channel and click on that bell notification icon so you don't miss any of my new videos every single Wednesday. That's all for this one, guys. Don't forget to check out my Instagram page for daily bite-sized French on my feed and in my story at French in Plain Sight. But until next time, merci beaucoup d'avoir regardé. À la prochaine. Ciao.